Yo, what's cracking YouTube? This is Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Folger Fagalua, which was released with the SA Supersport Series DLC. Now, if you want to follow me on this build, it's going to cost you $335,000 to purchase this bad boy. And uh, to be honest, it, you know, I don't... <laughs> Straight off the bat, I don't think it's going to be worth that amount of money because it kind of looks pretty basic. It doesn't look like it's going to be anything special. Uh, and $335,000 is still a lot of fucking grinding in GTA. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to get it purchased. I'm going to get it into the LSC and see what sort of customizations we can do. So you go, my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Fagalua is in the Sports Classic. And as always, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the bodywork, and we've got rusted trim. Where is that? Oh, yeah, there we go. Around the headlights and the grille. We've got a little trim on the side of the car as well, which turns rusted from chrome. Then we've got the half mast. I'm not sure about that one. And then we've got the full wood, <laughs> which is... Um, yeah, I don't really know how I feel about that. Not a massive fan. I think it looks better with the none because I don't really want to go rusted either. So uh, yeah, I'm going to stay none um, for the bodywork. Next, we've got the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes. Then for the bumpers, front bumper. Uh, so we've got a good few amount of options. As you can see, we do have a chrome one installed from stock, so we can remove it, uh, which makes it look kind of strange. And then we get the rusted version of it. Then we've got the tuner bumper, then the Tora bumper, and then the rusted Tora. Wow, I wasn't expecting a tuna bumper for this type of vehicle. That's uh, that's interesting, very interesting. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to keep it classic though, or if I want to go maybe tuna, make it look a little bit of a street racer. Um, because it doesn't look like a street racer, you know, it's not that type of vehicle. But it's difficult. I, I, but I don't want to keep it stock, you know, I want to try and mix it up a little bit, make it look a little bit different to the stock version of itself. Um, fuck it, man, why the hell not? We're going to go tuna bumper for the front bumper, then we've got the rear bumper, so we can remove it, or we can go with a rusted bumper, and I think, uh, yeah, the removal of it is probably the best option. Then we're going to move on to the chassis, uh, so we've got the wood interior. <laughs> so we've got a stock chassis. Um, we can change it to a wood interior. Uh, that's fucking strange, man. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't really get what's going on with the wood, man. What, what is, what, is, what's, what's the big deal with the fucking wood? I don't, I don't understand. So I'm gonna stay stock for the chassis. Next, we've got the covered fog lights. So we're gonna go uh, rally. We're gonna go full rally on this because obviously this is the sort of direction it's pointing to. With now with the rally lights, uh, obviously we've got the the tuna bumper on the front as well. So I'm I'm feeling, yeah I'm feeling that. That looks pretty cool. It's got a rally plate on there as well with the the quad rally lights. That looks pretty sweet, man. We're gonna go with that bad boy. Then we're gonna go to the engine. We're gonna get the level four engine upgrade for the exhaust. We are gonna grab, uh, choo -choo. the dual one looked pretty cool. Uh, but I f I think the shotgun exhaust is probably the best looking one. So I'm gonna go for that. Next we're gonna go to the headlights. Um, so. Wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting to put the Xeon headlight bulbs on there, but we do get to change the uh, the the you know the trim around the headlights. So we've got a rusted one, and we can remove the 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 trim altogether, so it's more of a flat headlight, which is pretty cool. We've got the retro, which I can't see much different to you know this one. They all kind of look very similar. Then we've got the retro trim, uh, the headlight tape. That's the one we want to go with because we're going to make it like a rally tourer, so we're going to go with a headlight tape. And then we're going to go to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Next, we've got the option for the livery. And by the looks of it, man, we've got a lot of options for liveries. So, to start with, we've got the classic stripes. Uh, I think we're going to go a little bit more extravagant than that. Uh, the retro, that looks pretty cool. I, I like that. But obviously, we're going to go for that rally look, so we need something a little bit more extravagant. Uh, this is more like it. So these are all pretty cool, man, so far. Um, nothing stand out spectacular. Even though this uh, this Macbeth racer is probably the best one so far. It's got the most going on. You know, I think uh, maybe if we change that white to a different colour, that might go a little bit nicer as well. Maybe a blue. That would look pretty cool. 
Uh, but all these other ones are pretty simplistic, you know. They, they don't make it stand out all that much. So in my opinion, I think the Macbeth one is probably the best. So I'm going to go with that. Then we've got an option for mirrors. I do always like a different option for the wing mirrors, which is pretty cool. So as the standard ones, but they're, they're pretty nice circular head. Um, sorry, not headlights. <laughs> they're circular wing mirrors, and they look pretty cool. And you get the rusted version of that. You can also get the custom mirrors, which are like the rectangular version of it, and then the rusted ones. And then you can bring them onto the hood or the, the fender. Sorry. Um, not a massive fan of them down there. I think they still look better as the wings. These look pretty cool, the retro mirrors. I like I like their positioning on them. They're quite nice. And uh, yeah, I think they're the ones I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the retro mirrors. So now we are going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary color to start and then classic because we want to stay classic because if we go metallic, we get a weird metallic shine on the livery and I think it looks a bit odd. So uh, yeah, we're going to stay classic for the color. And I'm feeling like a blue. I think black, blue and red would look pretty cool. Um, other than that, I, I can't think of any other colour that would suit this livery. See, light blue is a bit too light in my opinion. Maybe we'll go like a nautical blue or something. That looks pretty sweet. I actually really like that. And then we've got maybe a dark blue as well. The harbour blue looks good. The harbour blue is probably a winner actually. That looks really fucking sweet. Really nice. And I'm, I'm in favour of this harbour blue, man. That looks fucking pretty cool. Let's quickly go back to the nautical blue again. Um... Yeah, I think the Harbour Blue looks the best, so I'm going to go with that one. Then we're going to go to the secondary colour, also in Classic, and we're going to see what this changes. Uh, oh, so it is the trim. So, maybe we'll leave that how it is, because I actually I like it in Chrome. So yeah, I'm going to leave the secondary colour alone. Then we've got the trim colour. This is obviously going to be the interior. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to change this. Maybe if we are going to change it, we're going to go with the Harbour Blue. Now with Harbour Blue, it actually looks really cool. Um, don't know if it's going to be, you know, a bit overpowering because the harbour blue is the colour of the out, the exterior of the car as well. Uh, let's quickly apply it and see how it goes. Have a little look. Actually, man, I think it actually works really well. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Next, we're going to move on to the roof, and we've got a good few options for the roof. Uh, obviously, we've got a roof rack there, and then a rusted version of it. <laughs> we've got the ski rack. Uh, then we've got a luggage, larger luggage, and then a surfboard. Um, obviously me trying to make this into a rally car this isn't any good to us so we want to leave that alone so we're going to stay stock for that then we're going to go to the suspension again because I'm making it into a rally car I don't know if I want to slam it I think it's probably best if I leave it you know maybe lower it a little bit maybe go with I don't know we'll go halfway maybe we'll just go with the sports suspension so it's not overly low but then it's not at stock height either. And then we're going to go to the transmission. We're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning. Next, we've got the visors. So it's above the windshield, as you can see. We've got the basic visor, the rusted version, the retro, and then the rusted retro. Um, you know, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I think probably the retro visor looks the, the nicest. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I like the retro visor. I think I'm going to go with that. That looks pretty cool, man. Next, we're going to go to the wheels. Uh, the stock wheels that we've got aren't overly impressive. They're pretty basic. I think we can get them in either the low rider category or the drag category. So nothing spectacular there. Um, but we are going to go into the tuner. We're going to stay in the stock rims. Um, not sure what we're going to grab. It's going to be something similar to that, I think. That looks pretty cool, man. Or maybe even the, the Rally Masters. But I don't know. I think they kind of ruin the look of the car a little bit. So we want to kind of go with something which is classy yet old schoolish I mean I think these Fujiwara looks pretty good but then again I didn't really want this chrome trim around the outside of the rim either I wanted to kind of I wanted, my idea is to change the color of the rim um, but have that as a solid color I didn't really want any chrome on there as either but you can see with this group Z rim we've got the alloy in the middle where the where the, so what we call them, like the, the spokes, should we say, and then the rim around the outside of that is chrome. So if I change the colour of that, I'm still going to have a bit of chrome on there, so I'm not overly happy about that. So I'm going to have a quick look in the muscle, stand of stock, and see if there's anything better. Maybe these, they look quite cool. Yeah, the mercenary rims look really nice. I think they suit it quite nicely, man. Uh, again, these ones have got chrome around the outside. But I want something 
Something like that, actually. That looks quite cool. That looks good, but it's got chrome around the outside. Is that got chrome? I don't know. I think that one, these ones are actually the uh, the winners. We'll go, go with a Mecha. We'll go see what they look like in a different colour. We'll go quickly go into the wheel colour. Uh, I'm feeling a red for this, because obviously it's going to match the livery. And I think they actually look quite cool, you know? I don't actually think that looks too bad. So we're going to go with the red for the for the rim colour. Then we're going to go to the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So there you go my bros, there is the build on the brand new Fagalua, which was released with the no most current update, the SA uh, Super Sport series. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful man, I've got to get used to saying that at the end of these videos. Um, but you know, this this car is what it is, you know, it's nothing fucking special, the, the customizations on it aren't great. I tried making it into like a rally car, because to make, trying to make it look a little bit cooler than it actually is, because it's not an overly cool looking vehicle. Uh, you know, the customizations you can get for it are okay, nothing special, I mean it's quite expensive as well for $335,000. You know, if you haven't got that sort of money in the game, it's a lot, a lot of money to spend out on a car which really isn't worth it. You know, it's, it's quite unique, I suppose, but I don't think it's going to be set in the sports classic car uh, racing scene alike. So in that that aspect, it's not going to be great in racing from the way I'm feeling it at the moment. It's, the acceleration doesn't seem like it's there. And even holding the accelerator down for this amount of time, it doesn't seem like the top speed's there either. Um... You know, it seems like it's got pretty good traction. It's not sliding out, but then again, it's not going really, not really going fast enough to slide out. Uh, so I'm quite disappointed with it, to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't buy it again. Uh, I'd suggest to anybody watching this video not to buy it, not to waste your money on it. It's definitely not worth it. It's still quite a bit of money. You know, at 300 grand is still a lot of money. Plus, you have to spend money to upgrade it as well. So you're probably looking at about a cool half mil for this to make it look how I've made it look. Uh, so like I said, the liveries aren't great, the customization of the actual vehicle isn't great, the actual handling of the vehicle isn't great, and uh, I'm not overly keen on the actual looks of the vehicle either. So that is my review on the Fagalua. Do not buy it, it is a piece of shit. Uh, but if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.